Okay, yo, yo, yo. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about my top 5 favorite modded skins in Smash Ultimate. Um, I kind of want to try to make this like a monthly thing that we try to do every month and see what's good on that. Yo, shout out to you Is Let's go ahead and get down to it. Again, a lot, a lot of these skins um, are just personally my favorite and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description as to like where if you do have a modded Switch you can go ahead and download some of these mods yourself. Uh, and for number five, um, I'm gonna have to go for the Naruto skin for Sheik. Um, I think this is super cool, super smooth. Um, yeah, man, just look at it, dude. Let's see, let's get a turn around. All right, relax. Yo, just look at this, man. Like, look at the amount of work that actually like goes into this. Shit. Like, this is actually like super, super impressive. And me being like a pretty big fan of Naruto, like actually, like this is like super, super satisfying that like it's super super clean um and you can even see some of the dirt that's actually on his shoes that actually make it look like kind of realistic so shout out to that and i think there's actually like a reflection on the headband itself which is uh which is actually pretty cool the hair and everything like again um it, it doesn't look odd it doesn't look like at like out of place or anything like that like i feel like if naruto was in this game he would kind of play like the exact same as Sheik. He would kind of play like um like kind of fast. I, I like I don't think he would be like a character that is like like slow or anything like that. Yeah. Let's go. Number four for me personally is going to be the uh it's kind of like a dual skin more or less for Pac-Man. Um, but the combination of these two is the Professor Pac-Man and the Among Us skin. Honestly, it is like something that I feel like a lot of people would appreciate, especially if you did play Pac-Man. This one for me is just like, it's super cute. Um, you got Pac-Man like wearing this like Professor Graduation hat. He got his glasses, he got his mustache on. Like, oh, look at him, look at that face, look at him. He's just like, hey, everybody. The other part of the mod I did want to go ahead and show you guys was the Among Us crew. Um, so we got Red, obviously here. And we got the other guys, and we got the dead body here. Yeah, yeah, you can't really see it because my name is in the way. Victory screen, even cooler. Um, awesome. All right, cool. Uh, number two on my list, um, and that's going to be the Goku skin for Terry. It, there's like, there's no flaw to it, you know? Like, it looks like it actually fits in the game. It doesn't look like it's, like, misplaced or odd or anything like that. Cool, let's go ahead and get a clean look at this. See what's going on. And one of the details that I did see, like, I, I don't know if maybe it's the same creator who made these guys. The, the shoes or, like, the pants are always have some sort of, like, a dirt type of texture, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and again, like I said, the, the hair and the actual, like, his gi and everything, it seems like, you know, Goku could potentially actually be in the game if you were to take a brief look at this skin. I think it's also pretty sick that they made this uh, a Terry skin because Terry kind of seems like more of Goku's, like, fighting style more than anything because he's, Terry's, like, punchy punchy and he got the, uh, his neutral B, which can kind of be, I guess, replicated as, like, energy blast or anything like that. <laughs> Oof. Can I hit it before she kills me? No. Let's go! Yo, I am like the worst when it comes down to trying to land power guys there. Like the, 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 this little input here, dude, like, I, li I can't do that for my life. All right, cool. So. For the second to last one, we are going to go with my homegirl, uh, Kasumi from Persona 5 Royal. And honestly, this deserves the number two spot on my list because of, like, the little tiny details and, like, aesthetics that actually come, uh, with this skin. Uh, the first time I played it, I was like, oh, shit, wow, this is actually pretty sick. But, again, taking a look at this actual skin itself, like, dude, it, like, this thing is super, super well done. Again, um, everything, like, down to the little details and, like, the hair, the eyes, the mask, the knife and that the little details that actually come with uh kasumi is like you can see there like her aha is actually white and she has her persona from um persona 5 royal which is i think seldrin or something like that Sendrillin. the little effects on her nair um is uh purple instead of red 
Yeah, so there we go. There's her persona. And again, it has like a bunch of really cool effects to it. Like it changes the, the AHA to being white and the actual flame effects, uh, the, uh, the flame effects to it are uh, white too. And again, I think it's super cool that her voice is in Japanese. It kind of reminds me of when um, when Marth's voice was in Japanese in Melee. Her Rebel's Guard is also yellow, which is uh, pretty cool. The nasty dunk. The nasty dunk. All right, cool. So the last one I want to go ahead and kind of throw in this little showcase for you guys. It's recently been added to the uh, to the list of different skins, and that's going to be OG Final Fantasy VII Sephiroth. Dude, this shit is actually pretty cool. Super sick. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's it's such an homage back to uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, and kind of like an ode to the remake, more or less, because that shit just dropped. Uh, but let's go ahead and take kind of like a closer look. Honestly, dude, like, this is super clean. Like, the whole entire just, like, look of it is just, like, yo, balls to the wall. I don't know if there is one for Cloud. I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, but, again, if there isn't, I hope they give Cloud one so we can kind of have that, like, nostalgic feeling of uh, Cloud versus Sephiroth. But, uh, nevertheless, this is super cool. Shout out to the guy that actually go ahead and made this. Um, yeah, man, like... <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. Hey, it'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just want to go ahead and knock yourself. Hey, and we got him in the final. And we got him in a victory screen. Yo, that is super sick, man. Love that. All right, cool. Um, that's really just about it for the little mod shit case that I want to show you guys. Um, I do want to try to make this like a monthly thing. Like every month I try to do like a showcase of the top five best modded skins in Smash Ultimate or maybe modded stages or something. I don't know. Um, but I do want to make use of it. If you guys happen to like this video, go ahead and drop me a like. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, if I can land one. Can you not shield? Oh my god.